Can you tell me what you do for Kama? Sure. So I work at uh, I work on the car support, and I help the community port the cars uh, more efficiently, pretty much. Okay. What are some advantages to Kama versus the other kind of commercially self-driving systems? Well, I don't know if you've tried many of them from like the big OEMs like Honda or Toyota, but they never ship updates. So like, what you buy is what you get. Oh, you're kind of, kind of stuck with it. Yeah. Oh, bummer. Yeah. And. Um, it's like a class. It's a very classical approach. So they need two lane lines on the road. It needs a lead on the road. So if there's any problems with like tar lines or anything like that, they usually can't handle it. And you so just, just they just give up. Yeah, pretty much. How it does handle those kind of more dynamic situations. So we work off behavioral cloning pretty much, which like we have 10,000 users or so uploading their data to us. So we look at the whole road scene. And we figure out where a human would drive given this road, and that's what we do. So okay. it works in almost all conditions. How was uh, like if there was some incident, can you like train it to go through that situation differently to help it learn? We don't usually look at specific cases. We just try to make sure our data set is uh, as high quality as possible. Okay. Yeah. And how does it keep the like the driver safe as far as like from like distractions or looking at their phone for too long or so over here you can see we have a singular 180 degree camera on the front okay. that keeps track of the driver pose we predict if they're looking at their phone mm -hmm. and if they're not paying attention as this guy is it'll beep at them so if it goes to one it will what is it like so it yeah, like gives a beep around four seconds it'll do like a little beep beep saying hey pay attention okay. if you keep going it'll just come to a slow stop Oh, okay. We're working on sleep detection in the future, which is a little more subtle of a problem because you don't know if their eyes are closed or not. Sometimes. Right. Yeah. What other demos are these showing here? So this, um, I think it was around last year, we wanted to show off like the actuator capability in some cars. So we did this drive to Taco Bell fully autonomously. Um, driver was just there to make sure everything was okay. Yeah. It took the on-ramp, took the off-ramp, did a couple of turns, stoplights. So I can do a city and highway driving? Mm -hmm. Does it take you to your full destination and then so we can don't, you take over at that point? Or? We don't do full uh, routing just yet. We're trying to make the uh, just the core driving model experience much better. So okay. bringing the stoplight and stop signs to like, all the time pretty much. Okay, so this is a fully optical. Yes. So this is what's looking at the driver. That's and what, correct. Do you have a demo of like what the front is looking at? So yeah, we have a narrow field camera here and wide angle. Okay. This is just for long range detecting vehicles. Mm -hmm. This is for seeing maybe a stoplight is very close to you and you need to see out. Okay. So what are these two USBs for? Yeah, this is uh, for interfacing with the car's communication CAN bus. And okay. this is if you want to just play around with the device as a development tool or maybe add a GPU. You can plug in a USB drive, mouse, keyboard, use it as a normal computer. So does this have, how does this handle power? Is it just batteries or is it handle it? So, like with heat, I know phones kind of freak out in hot temperatures. Yeah. Does this handle it differently? So that's because they mainly have a battery which can swell and mm -hmm. overheat. Uh, okay. We just pull power directly from the car, so people use this in Arizona, Texas, all year round. Keep it in their vehicle, works just fine. No issues. Yeah. So it turns off like how long after the car turns off? Um, it's that's another thing. The software is all open source, so okay. a lot of people like to configure that actually. Um, but I think it's maybe 12 to 20 hours after you leave the vehicle. Oh really? Yeah, it just sips power, so. How much power does it use under like driving conditions? I'm not actually sure. It might be five to ten watts, maybe much much. less. You have to ask uh, deep somewhere over there. But if it's off, you can use it as a sensor, like a sensory mode, sort of. If you yeah, want we to. were we're talking about adding that feature to our our web app. Okay. Will that pull power internally or pull it from the car? Pull it from the car. Okay. So yeah, yeah, we pull it from the. The same connector that gives the stock camera its power, we pull that. So we have power while the vehicle's off. Okay. And we detect So it kind of goes direct, directly to the 12 volt? Yep. Kind of bypasses volts. some things? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. It's like, what's like the oldest car you support right now? Uh, might be like a 2015 Passat, but usually past 2017 or 2018 we support them. That's pretty available. Oh, yeah. 
Cool. There are almost 300 cars we support now. So it's pretty simple to install. You just kind of wrap the wires around the, the windshield. We're actually calling it plugging it in now. No more installation. Hmm. So uh, we try to make it as simple as possible. You just unplug two connectors, plug this in, mount it with some tape, some B, like BHP tape. Okay. And then you're good to go. So how, you can just sh slide off. Is yep. that right? So it just slides off right like that. Pretty simple. And will Aptera be the first one to actually have this integrated, not having to buy this separate unit, but have it totally like integrated into the car? Um, that I don't know too of? much about their strategy about that. I do know they might want, or they might are adding an OBDC port, and that's what we use. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, we'll see. I hope I hope they uh, they do something like that. Have people that have tried like the Ford or GM? Have they tried this and like this one a lot more? Definitely. Really? Yeah, I have a 2022 Camry, which you think is like, it's pretty new. Mm -hmm. You think their 8S would be decent, but you need two very clear ley lines. And the second you lose one, it doesn't even make like a noise. You just stop steering. It's like when there's sometimes on freeways where the lane kind of widens. Oh, yeah, it doesn't too. like that. It'll stay right in the middle and then potentially bring you out of your lane. I rented a Toyota and it did that. Yeah, like it started it to like center itself. So this is smart enough to know that the lane's just extending. Yep, they can see past so that and knows where the lane keeps going. That's great. How often are there updates for for this to kind of update on Wi-Fi at home? Yeah, so it automatically pulls the update. It says, hey, there's an update, press reboot, and then reboots in 20 seconds, and you have the new update. Wow, um, very seamless. Yeah, we ship an OTA update maybe twice, four times a year Okay. for free. Sweet. Yeah. So no subscription, you just kind of buy it once and then you're good? Yep. Love that. For our software, yeah. Love that. Cool. Anything else you want to share? Uh, we just lowered our price to nine ninety nine. I don't know if you mentioned that or saw that. That's great. But, yeah. What was it before? Like 15? It was, well, two years ago we lowered the price to 15 and okay. then a couple months ago 1150 $1, and then today yeah. it's 1000 so What nice. allowed you guys to lower it? Uh, in sourcing. Okay. So we have our own factory, we have our own like 24 7 crew that's just printing circuit boards. Okay. We test in, in uh, San Diego, ship them out in San Diego, and that makes it really cheap. So, that's great. Yeah. Well, it's good to hear that. It's working well. On... I wish I had a car modern enough to kind of try it out, but maybe yeah. I could. And I keep hearing from everybody that um, once they try this, they're always like, go to our compatibility page to make sure that their new car supports them. Yeah. Yeah. I'll definitely check it out. Cool. Thank you so much for your time. No problem. Thank you for coming. Yeah.